Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Carter and I work here in the city of Lakewood on the graveyard shift, and I think we're able to do the job here in Lakewood and Pierce County with uh, fewer officers than what's usually required of uh, larger agencies just because of uh, the latitude we're given to be able to do our job and uh, the confidence that our command structure gives us. Well, when I was real young, my dad caught me lying and uh, pretty much told me, you know, just come out with the truth and uh, you might get punished, but it'll all work out and pretty much the same way with the department. Um, you know, you're human, you're going to make mistakes, but as long as you admit to your, your mistakes, you might get reprimanded, but you're not going to get fired. And I believe that's pretty important in life in general, you know. Nobody's perfect, and we're no exception. We're going to do a traffic stop on this vehicle as soon as we get some updated information regarding the registered owner's driver's status. But right now we've got a bunch of infractions to be able to stop him. We're just going to wait a couple more minutes. First of all, he was speeding 15 over. Oh, he's burning some serious oil, too. Mm -hmm. going to go ahead and light him up. 392 County Traffic. Three nine two County Traffic. Three nine two. Eastbound five twelve just past the Steel Street exit on Lincoln Queen Frank two three seven. Suspicious vehicle. Failing to yield the right of way right now. 392 County, there, we're still continuing eastbound real slow. Pursuit. Uh, they're, now they're speeding up, still eastbound. We're in pursuit. Ford Mustang, about an 84, two occupants, both males. Approaching Pack Highway, speed 60. Approaching Pack Ave, 60 miles an hour. Driving in the middle of both lanes. Speeds are 75. Speeds are about 75, traffic light. Approaching, uh, approaching Garfield. Approaching Garfield. Confirmed sticks are at 140. Confirmed sticks are at 140. Some stop sticks up about nine blocks. Hopefully, he's going to hit those. Speeds are 70. Speeds are 70. Just passing 134. Speeds are 90. Speeds are 90. Still continuing south. Now, no traffic. He just tossed something. Just tossed stuff about 14800 blocks. Charlie's card spot. Charlie's card spot. Like a about the 14500 block, Charlie's card spot.
Get your hands! Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Two in custody. Nice uh, pit job. Oh, we didn't hit him. Oh, he just spun? He just spun around. Uh, we didn't even get a chance. Get you okay? No, man. Yeah. 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 Good one, eh? How you doing, bud? Good, man. You doing more? Yeah. Cool. You're going to be a cop? Man. Where you got your pockets? Like between the passenger seat and the uh, center console over there. It's probably, they were reaching over a lot as we were following them. They were probably trying to get that down. We wouldn't find it. They're trying to hide it. And uh, nice. they decided not to toss that, toss the gun instead. Yeah. Yep. It's stuck under there like he could have grabbed it real quick and, yep. and used it at any point. Yep. Oh, he'd have kept going if he hadn't spun out and we hadn't pinned him in the way we did. He'd have kept going. You know, what I, what I noticed is, I mean, they got a stereo that's easily pulled out and in. It doesn't have the faceplate on it. Oh, well, the They're driver's got... a bunch of CD players, so. The driver's got five felony warrants. One for, for prowling in the first degree and a couple for residential burglary. Okay. So they were probably out stealing other items, and uh, we just caught them in the middle of it before they could get much done. There was one in there that was all fully calculated to go. So there was one in the chamber at yep. the time? Good deal. Thanks for finding that. No problem. I thought he was going to make a U-turn. When I turned the corner, he smoked back around and his car I thought sort he was going to hit I us. thought it just stalled right there. And I'm like, oh, I have no choice but to pull up alongside this guy. And I'm looking at him, and he's looking right at me. And it was like, get your seatbelt off well, and get no, out the door. Well, that's why I was out the door running and it was around like, the side to I was, try and cover. I was going to see who was first to get out the door. That, I, that, I, saw, I saw him spin around, and you guys were like side by side. I thought, well, I can't slow the dog out now. Yeah, that's a bad <laughs> feeling. That's a bad I feeling. Know, you guys are looking at each other like, who's going to do what first? Well, we got so what? So that's why I took out. He, he was right next to the driver, so I went for the pastor to make sure he wasn't going to do anything. Got for felony looting, felon in possession of handgun, escape. He's got a whole list escape. of warrants. So. A whole list of warrants. So we got a couple graveyard for about four years now. I like graveyard. I'm a night person. The guys I work with are real proactive, so we get into a lot of stuff. We have some real good cases and uh, get a lot of pretty good criminals, so we're on our way to a threats call right now. I've dealt with this lady before, but uh, there's a car back there I'm going to pull over before we go. I had a crack windshield. I'm going to do a quick routine traffic stop on it before we go to this other call. See what they're up to. Okay. I'm gonna pull him over. His windshield's shattered. I can see the crack all the way through his his uh, vision. About the 148 Hunter block of Murray, 365. Cracking your windshield's why I pulled you over. It's right through your line of sight. Yeah, I'm getting a, new, a parts car we're gonna get. Okay, you have license, registration, proof of insurance on you? I don't have. You don't have what? You don't have any ID? You don't have any ID on you at all? Hmm? I don't. What's your name? Brian. Lean back in the seat, please. Put your hands in your lap, thanks. I'd like to be able to see him. You got any warrants right now? No. Okay, you don't think so? When's the last time you were arrested? Uh, been can, over a year. Can she turn the car off at all? Sure. Heaps? Feel free to turn it off. That'd even be better. That's that's why we're here, because the car, we're having a hard time tonight. Decided to shave the beard? Is this you? Yes, sir. Okay. You don't have any ID on you? That's, that's all. I just got out of, out of Shelton. On the 29th. Who are you in for? Um, possession. Possession of? Heroin. Okay. Any drugs in the car tonight? No, sir. None at all? 
No. And nobody's got any warrants? Mm. And your driver's status is good, ma'am? Yes. Okay, then you guys will be out of here soon if that's the case. Sit tight, I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> I love that. A booking sheet is ID. <laughs> Okay, I'll be taking them into custody. Go ahead and send them up. Okay, let's go put some people in handcuffs. Come on and chop out of the car for me. Come on to the back. Come on back. Go ahead and drop the wallet. Put your hands on the car. Put your hands on the car. Hmm? What's this about? Yeah. Well, it seems that you've got some warrants. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right this time to talk to a lawyer and to have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights, not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand your rights? Is that right up to you? Yes. Did you not pay a fine or appear in court or? You're kind of wrenching on their this or. Sorry about that. Is this on Snap right here? Yep. McDonald's, 8201, Boulevard. Let me make sure my stuff wife right gets my stuff, so. Okay. You're next. Why don't you hop out for me? Make sure I can see your hands when you get out. Go ahead and put the cigarette down, please. Come on over to the back. Put your hands on the car for me. Open your hand all the way, put it flat against the glass. I want to get her and the kid out, make sure it's I need you to step out. safe. Come on back here, ma'am. Put your hands on the car for me. Do you have any weapons or anything on you? No. Okay, I'm going to pat you down for weapons, it's and I'm going to okay. stand you in front it's of the okay. car with your kid, going okay? We're gonna, mom's going right here with you, okay? You're driving around with guys that have multiple warrants. One of them is my husband. Mm-hmm. You can step out with mom. Go ahead mom. and pull her out. I don't want her to be upset. <laughs> And wait in front of the car with her for me, ma'am. Is there anything car you want to tell me about? No. Anything illegal? Any drugs? Drug paraphernalia? No. Nothing? I know of nothing. Okay. I'm going to start over there, Dave, because that's where the uh, husband was sitting. There's the meth. Don't cuff her right now. Just put her in the back of your car with the kid. Why don't we do that? Just go through her pockets okay. real good in her shirt. Yeah. <clears throat> Make sure she has absolutely nothing can, on her. You can relax, okay? Just relax, okay? The key in this pocket. Okay. And a piece of paper. Okay. Would you put my little behind your bed? Gentlemen, I've read you both your rights. You both said you understood them, correct? You guys want to let me know whose bag this is? I'm just looking for a little honesty, fellas. It's mine, man. Is it? Okay. What's the dope inside? It's meth. Is it meth? Okay. Did you guys just buy it, or? <laughs> Locally, or? <laughs> out in the east side? You want to tell me where? Help yourself out a little bit, or? Yeah. Give me. Okay. We're going to get you guys out of the car and put you in the other car for transport down to the jail, and you can say goodbye to your wife. So go ahead and hop on out. Let's walk on back to this other car, gentlemen. He's got some things he needs to take care of. Mommy will explain it when you get home. What's he doing? Princess, don't worry about it. Let's get... Okay, 
How do you explain a warrant to a five-year-old? Yeah, it's a little tough. That's adjacent to Fort Lewis military base. It's made up of a lot of residential housing and uh, small mom and pop shops to take care of the soldiers and the airmen that are around the area. Um, right now we're in the area of a reported domestic and we're going to go check it out to see what we've got and uh, we'll take it from there. There it is. Three nine two County last call. How's it going, guys? He come in here yelling at me about where the hell I go. Call me a liar. Because I had to go to the welfare office, then I went to Spanaway, had my boss fill out some paperwork, and I came back. He says, you put 50 miles on my truck. Okay. I said, no, I didn't. I, it's not 50 miles to, to, to here to, what, downtown and back, and to Spanaway and back. That's not 50 miles. Okay. And he started calling me some names, and okay. then he slugged me in the head. Okay. Where, in the forehead? No, right here. Okay. How did he hit you? With his fist. Okay, open, closed. Oh, no, he closed it. Okay, all, for all he could give you? He, oh, yeah. Okay, and then what happens? And then, um, I don't know, he, he started calling me names. Okay. And then we came out here, he came out here kicking stuff, and then um, he went out the door. Okay, and then I shut the door, was when he... And then he okay. window. Okay. What I want you to do and is. He's expecting me not to do nothing. Okay. Well, I'm going to have you fill some statements out, okay? A medical release, and this, uh, I need you to be as detailed as possible about what happened, and we'll try and get him into custody. And in the meantime, I need you guys, and you pass the word that we're going to have a dog out here, so everyone that's in the area needs to go back in their apartments, okay? Hey, Joe, have you got started yet? Okay, let's, let's move down here, Greg. He went out this far door, and I think he went back towards the tracks. So. Okay, we're starting our track now. Right here. Okay, we're on the tracks now. We're northbound from uh, 14400 block. Moving at a good clip. Let me know, Joe, if you need the traffic stop here. Okay. Making contact. Shows your hands! Shows your hands now! Oh, close. Next. Oh. Heel! Get your hands in the air! Keep them up! Keep them up! Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Put your hand behind your back. Yes, sir. Here. Here you go, sir. Ow. Oh, boy. You found that guy. Come here, the hand. Oh, boy. Greg, give me some light. Do you have any weapons on you? No, sir. Roll over. You're under arrest. I don't, sir. Yeah, I know you know. Oh, boy, Max. Oh, boy. Out. I like it. One in custody. You got him, Joe? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get the dog out of here. Okay, he's got a $2,000 muni car warrant, too. Max, come. Roll this side. I know you're not resisting. No. Come on. Nice scanner, huh? Guess you don't have our tactical channel, do you? 
No, I'm just, I'm waiting to have, do me a favor, get on Metro and have medical aid meet us at the cars. I just, Stand up. I just All right, you know what? Just be quiet for right now, right? Don't say anything. Alright, thanks. Got him now, alrighty. Uh, just a quick one for weapons, I didn't do a good search. Okay. Okay. I'm down here, I'll do it. It's just while we do it. You guys want some water? Okay. We were in the area when the domestic actually occurred. I heard the glass breaking. We, we went over there. The suspect had already taken off. Got a bunch of containment units, which had him pinned down really quick. And uh, canine showed up. We conducted a track. We assumed he had gone this way, and it turned out to be true. And uh, went to ground in a bunch of scrub brush. That's where we found him, along with his scanner and a bunch of other stuff I haven't gone through yet. So he's got warrants, he's got fresh assault charges, and listen up. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right at this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you. 132 in Bush, I've got him.